What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Civilization 5 National Ideas AI only game. We're going to keep keep it going just keep while while it's actually running. We're getting through a good good amount of turns. We may as well may as well keep pushing on and um maybe maybe let things play out. Maybe we can get one big event to shake shake up the scores a little bit. We did have a look at the info addicts last time. I didn't do the numbers, maybe if some of you paused and were very inquisitive, you might have might have actually done it how we normally do it. I don't know who would have won if we had a stop then. Or not stop then, but you know, done the shout outs then for the winners and then we would continue. Um, I would probably put my money still on Poland, but I think it would have been a lot closer. I think the problem is there was no clear rival. Like Austria, Assyria... Egypt was up there a lot, but I think they they all stole a lot of points off each other. So I think that would have hurt. It wasn't like Poland and one other sieve every single time. Sometimes Assyria did beat Poland. A couple of times Austria beat Poland. But across the board, Poland was always like one or two. So I think it would still probably land with Poland. For now, things can change. There was some interesting categories, I believe... Well, Poland dominated military, but Austria now has more production. So maybe soon we'll see Austria overtake Poland. Although Austria also has bigger economic problems than Poland, which means they will be losing more units. So it's a tough one. It is definitely a tough one as we hit what is the year 1931, it says. A little bit advanced technology for 1931, but there you go. It's pretty close. Only 100 years out. Not, not, well, not, yeah. Yeah, I'd say we're in the information era now, outside of maybe the XCOM squads, and who knows, maybe they do exist, we just don't see them. <laughs> Assyria declares war on Sweden, not, I'm excited to see Assyria do something, sadly attacking Sweden is, it's not quite what I had in mind, so, <laughs> bit of a shame, but you know, we, we, we try our best, it, it is, it is what it is, hopefully, hopefully we'll get something out of that. Um, I just hope we get one big war like that's all we're asking for in the next 50 turns that we can sort of you know and it doesn't crash <laughs> wishful thinking maybe you know come on give us a we never really get to this stage um, normally where we have sort of we there's normally a winner or a clear winner by now right and we just don't wait wait around but here I, I feel it could go wrong for Poland it could all go wrong. I mean, they haven't been able to expand for a long time. Their only options are Austria, who is very difficult. Assyria, Byzantium, that is not important. They, they could go for Sweden, but again, they outnumber Sweden, and with a lot of paratroopers, they probably could do it, so I wouldn't count it out, but only a two-tile gap here. That's very difficult to fight through. Um, no matter how many units you have, there's a sort of, you know, the um, bottleneck getting in the way, but there we go. There is, I didn't read that immediately. We do have one. Spain versus Sweden is not, it is big actually. And it might be a mistake from Spain to have attacked Sweden too. I guess this might be a defensive pact sort of situation. Um, maybe not. Spain seems to have declared both. I mean, yeah, but Spain v. the Papal States. We are finally going to see this mega navy in action. And we could see a Civ who is probably right now locked in for top 10. Not that that's a huge achievement. There's only about 12 Civ. There's only 13, I think, left. So top 10 is maybe not as big an achievement as it sounds. But for Spain, if they take all of the Papal States, that's definitely going to push them right up the scoreboard um, to compete a little bit more. I'd say they were probably sitting in the fight for 5th and 6th with the sorts of... with Morocco, probably a bit behind Egypt, but ahead of the rest. Kind of how it seemed. But yeah, if they, can, if they can get all of the Papal States, which may be ambitious, then they would certainly climb climb the scoreboards quite a bit. And it would give them obviously more options to go after other sieves too, that are further away. And it also means we can sit here and watch as Spain do begin the siege of Sicyon, Sicyon in Sardinia. They should be able to get that. I don't know if Austria... I think Austria is just here because they have filled all their tiles. I don't think they are trying to take this... So don't be too alarmed. <laughs> I think it's all okay. Um, but we will keep an eye on this. Poland's turn. You go, can, normally, you know, you don't, you get, 
the big things happen all at once. So we may. I, I was thinking there, baby Poland. Don't know why, just a hunch. I was like, Poland's going to do something, but no. We don't get it, but it's, here we go. The Papal States will mount a defense. They have a fair few units, but not too many. Spain should quickly overwhelm them. But then again, this is the same Spain we saw bottle it against France for a good 50 to 60 turns. So I wouldn't um, get any hopes up or want to get anyone's hopes up. And I mean, my hopes should be up the most. I, I pick Spain to win. Oh. It's not, not worked out for me. Particularly watching that France stuff was... Very frustrating. I, I tried to remain impartial while commentating, but it was not. It wasn't a great watch, was it? Scotland and Byzantium piecing out. That did not last very long at all. That was not even ten turns for them to piece out. <laughs> Just I don't even know why that war started. But here we go. Spain's turn. A big one. I'm trying to see, and some of those units to the west of the city going down, and more Spanish boats pushing in around the island. Right, particularly up this way, you can see some more destroyers. There's still so many back here, and they could start para dropping in onto the island as well. But I think if they capture this island, then it gets a lot easier. Because then you can. Although saying that, the AI could attack multiple cities and mess up. I think this city is very exposed to destroyers, whereas this one you've only sort of got. I mean, here's still four tiles to attack from. But yeah, here's very exposed too. I think at that point you could be. <laughs> Getting a bit worried if you're the Papal States, but again, look, they're throwing everything at it. All their destroyers, all their nuclear submarines showing up to put on a defense. And to be fair, I think destroyers can see submarines, right? So it's, it's sort of an even battle here. It is going to be interesting to see who wins this out. But you'd think Spain have got enough to at least make some headway, get some cities. Wonder, I mean, if the Papal States get weak, who else joins? That's another question. Garamantes, may, maybe not. But Egypt, Poland, Austria's not quite here, although I'm sure they could para drop in enough troops that they could do it. Milan's obviously, I think they've been friends with the Papal State for most of this game. Oh, they lost some tiles to Spain at some point. That is, that's a bit harsh. Poor little Milan. I think they've lost those ages ago, actually, but still, you feel for them a bit. Oh, no. Okay, we're back. Please don't happen again. <laughs> um, Spain did take this. Uh, I think we went one turn too far, that's why. My mistake. But Spain has made some progress. And it worked this time. So, you know, could be worse. Um, I wasn't looking, so that maybe didn't help. But obviously, as you know, we do the three strikes. Pretty, pretty regular thing. If it happens again, we'll probably just move and try and run it in the strategic view of video. Which is disappointing. Uh, I said, you know, we normally don't push it beyond 350 and just showing you everything, so it's okay, it's fine, we'll, we'll get through it. But yeah, I don't know what caused it, um, it just happened, I, I wasn't moving anything, my hand wasn't even on the mouse when it happened, but hopefully we'll be okay, and we will continue to see if Spain makes any progress here. I think everything happened pretty much exactly the same, not like um, the previous crash that was right near the beginning when a few different things happened. Not like this time. This time it was um, completely different stuff happened. So, well, not sorry, completely the same stuff happened. We're just a few turns further in. I mean, which is, we have to run it to the same point to know it actually works, or it'll just be, come back and it'll crash again. But there you go, the fight for Sardinia begins. The Papal States want it back. Spain currently holding on to it as Milan and the Netherlands become friends. That's nice and wholesome for the smaller sieves on the map. Well, that's nice. But yeah, this is the main main thing we'll be focused on. Unless we do get something bigger. Pop up. Then we might have to change map mode, sadly. But, you know, i try my best. Austria denouncing Morocco? No. But, you know, it could lead to a big... I guess... I don't know. Paratroopers. We've seen some crazy things, right, with paratroopers. Austria did not look ready to invade France. And then it just happened. Also, I didn't notice this, um, but Sweden has kicked Spain completely out of Scandinavia. So this has definitely gone well for the Swedes so far. And Spain actually now need to do really well in Italy. Because if Sweden goes and grabs some more of these islands north of the British Isles, then Sweden's score is going to go up and Spain's will be going down. And Spain, yeah, I mean, so far they've lost two, taken one. That is not, not a good statistic. <laughs> you want to do better than that. So um, hopefully they can 
turn it around a little bit in the next few turns. That would be nice for for Spain. <laughs> Nothing against the Papal State, but you know, I am rooting for Spain. I'm allowed a little bias. I say that as the Papal State actually reconquer the city and make Spain look rubbish. Thanks. Thanks, Spain. Really doing your part here. You did. Also, Portugal is still around. I throw that out there as we hit turn 360. And France is also now failing to take them out. Good job, France. <laughs> France and Spain not having the best. France did well initially, but it, it fell apart. Um, there was a point where I thought France was on a level with Austria. You can all laugh at me for that one, I guess. You know, we can't get every prediction right. <laughs> yeah, Spain is not throwing everything at this again. They're, they're just holding back, and it's very frustrating. Come on, Spain. Throw everything you've got at it. No, they've moved a little bit, but no. They're not even going to get it back at this rate. The Papal State should easily pick off these units. I mean, that's a Galeas. <laughs> that's that, that's going to die to anything that hits it at this point in the game. But, um, yeah, Spain, I think, will lose most of those units th this turn. So, never mind. Not looking good. Maybe the focus should turn north, for now at least, where there is still battling. Scotland and France are still fighting in Wales. France may actually end up grabbing York here, which might be why they've stopped against Portugal. And Sweden could still push for these islands, although mostly land units again. Maybe not the best idea to commit too heavily with those. They are also still fighting Scotland, which does not help at all in the um, the crossing. Crossing the water, the North Sea, but we'll see if they can do it. What is next? Come on, we can get one big war. I'm just, I, I believe, believe in the AI to deliver us one big war where it doesn't crash between two of the bigger, bigger sieves. They've all been quiet now for a long time. Egypt, Assyria, Poland, and Austria have all been very quiet for um, a good amount of time. So we can only hope we get. Two v even 2v1 could be interesting um, but we'll see we'll see can we can we get there I mean like I said I said I think Egypt and Poland up against Austria and Assyria would be overall f pretty fair and would be quite exciting to see so we'll see if we get it we'll see if we can get get that war but, but I'm not not too too convinced they don't seem to be interested do they maybe they're all scared of each other all right here we go next turn france austria now sweden's hauled off now we've, we've got nothing this is tough and yeah the papal state spain you're really hurting me break my brain here what is going on why why you've got all these units what's the point in having them if you're not going to use them oh my goodness this is tough to watch for spain they are somehow somehow got a boat through to rome i don't don't fancy them to conquer rome but there you go they're, they're trying um yeah, it's not looking great, is it? It's not. <laughs> I'm not convinced here for Spain or Sweden, to be honest. So we, fingers crossed, get something new very soon, because this is this is tough. Not much going on elsewhere. There's nothing going on on the eastern part of the map to commentate on. Nope, still. <sighs> Come on, Spain. There's so many boats. Look at all these. Just bring them over. It would be so easy if you just used them all at once. They keep sending, like, three at once, and they just die. <laughs> and they send another three, and they never do enough. It's really painful to watch. France could end up getting York here, so that is at least... At least something, I guess. Um, that, that's something... Oh, 
Oh, Spain did get it back. Okay, Spain. Good. Good on you. You've you've achieved something. Um Come on. One pop up, <laughs> one bubble. You can do it, game. You can do it. Give us one. France here should get York, so that's a big that's actually pretty big. I mean Scotland now looks pretty weak as well, so I don't know if Sweden will Sweden just doesn't have any real boats. All they have is a few submarines which are completely useless for invading. They could obviously great for controlling the water, but they are yeah, they they don't offer anything to getting on the coast, you know, they're not battleships, they're not just they can't, you know, shoot land units, they're not destroyers, they can't conquer cities. Yeah, they are a real issue. Just having submarines, um, and they're not really sending their land units over to make the difference. Spain, please don't just settle for this city. That's really painful. Come on, you know you want more. Go and attack them. You can do it. <laughs> I don't know if it hurts more because I'm rooting for them or because there's no other action. Like I have to try. I'm not even going to try and make this out to be something bigger than it is. Spain here is faltering again when it matters. It's not good, is it? They could end up worse off. Maybe they're probably wishing I'd done the results at 350, but they're just that they're gutted. <laughs> they, they thought they'd done enough to come fifth place, and now have actually lost some cities. This war's not gone their way at all. Maybe someone else joins the papal against the papal states or Sweden. That might be the only sort of silver lining in terms of action. But come on, we we all want we know what we want, don't we? We want Austria, Poland. I think everyone's in agreement. I'm not sure it'll run, so I'm a bit worried that we might get it and it will just break every time. And that'll be like that's even worse than not getting it. But um, there is hope. There's a hope that we can get these two. Look how many units they have. It would just be ramming them into each other. I imagine there's no the paratroopers strat. They have a lot of paratroopers, both of them. I doubt it will actually do too much to um, use the paratroopers, just because the, there's nowhere to paradrop to. They've both filled their tiles, so it would be would be a messy one that we all are all desperate to see. And obviously, Assyria and Egypt can weigh into that, however they however they pl please, I guess. As York does fall, so France recovering. Maybe they'll climb. I mean, this is big at the bottom end of the scoreboard of which sieve is going to come where, because Scotland and France were sort of towards the bottom, and that's definitely going to push France further up. Scotland not looking so good now, they're down to two cities, and they could still be vulnerable to more damage in the coming turns, which is not what you want. Really? Not what you need. Here we go, Poland's turn. Will we get any? No. That was a very quick turn for one of the biggest sieves we've got, or well, the biggest sieve we have in this game, but even more. Um. Oh, ooh. Oof, no. Oh, York goes back to Scotland as well, so that's not even going to stick. And I don't know if France will get it back, that's sad. Milan v Byzantium is not the war I expected, and it doesn't make a whole lot of difference, so um, that won't be too big. But I don't, okay, never mind. France got York back straight away. Sorry, France. Sorry for doubting you. Oof, stop teasing me. Not really a tease. Byzantium <laughs> with one city would not be too big, but Austria. If it was Poland, at least it would signify they were doing something. Austria cannot really reach Byzantium. I'll say that they probably will get it at some point somehow, but it's not going to happen anytime soon. Go on, Assyria. No, come on, Morocco. At this point, fight Spain. Like it, it doesn't bother me. Like Spain, I feel like they need to be. They're too comfortable. They need to be forced to do something. They're not scared of the other big four because they're not near them. They're not too worried about Austria, but definitely not worried about Poland just because of how far away they are. Assyria and Egypt as well. I think Spain needs some pressure put on them. I think if Morocco actually attacked them, that might be interesting. I'm not sure Morocco would because Morocco is definitely weaker at the moment, but we can hope. I think that's what it's going to take. 
like to get Spain to do well. Like they're just so comfortable with where they are. They know they're fifth. They're, there's not much. They would have to go on a real killing spree to get into like fourth, I would say. So yeah, that might be might be why. But that will be it for this episode. At least we managed to keep going. Three six six. Hopefully we can keep pushing that little bit further. Um, as always, if you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you are new to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.